Congratulations, how are you feeling? Thanks, um, I feel happy, you know. I'm sure I'm gonna be sore later, but I feel fine right now. Did that fight go the way you kind of envisioned in your mind? Yeah, I did. I knew that uh, Tristan's a, he's a dog fighter himself like me. Um, I figured the difference would be the takedowns. My wrestling background, I know he's got a jiu-jitsu background, he's a black belt, but uh, I figured my wrestling would be, the, would be the thing that gets me the win. Was there anything about him that surprised you? No, I mean, I watched a lot of his fights. It's exactly the type of fight that I was going to be. You know, I was tired, he was tired, and we both just kept on pushing through. Um, I knew it was going to be um, one of those, like, who could swim in deeper water, um, who could dig deeper, and uh, I've been there so many times, I felt like I could do it. When do you want to get back in there? Um, I'd like to maybe get back in there around September, let's say. Um, I'm not in a hurry to get too back, too, get back in there too fast, but I definitely want to get back in here around September. Um, this was the last fight in my contract. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll get a new contract. You know, I got a good relationship with the UFC. This is where I want to finish my career. I don't want to fight for anywhere else. So um, I, I'm pretty sure I'll be back here soon. Do you have an opponent in mind? Uh, no, I'm going to sit down. Look at the roster and uh, figure that out too. I haven't. Uh, I don't like making decisions anymore in last minute. Like just oh, calling out somebody. I like to see who's kind of verbal and uh, go from there. And what about location? The UFC seems to be going back out on the road a little bit more. Is there? Are you happy fighting here? Or do you want to fight somewhere else? I would like to fight for the with the fans. I mean, it's just so much more fun. The energy, you can feel the energy as soon as you walk out and uh, I miss it. I mean, I've been fighting here the last three fights. I fought in Florida the time before that with no crowd. So my last four fights, no crowd at all. So um, I would like to fight again with the crowd. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, you uh, for this fight, you didn't seem to look to want to engage in too much of a brawl. It seemed like you didn't throw too many punches without shooting for that takedown and not doing the patented slobber knocker thing. Was that a stylistic thing coming into this fight or was that, was that a part of the plan or did it just happen that way? Oh, um, that was definitely part of the plan. Moving my feet, keeping my guard high, um, make him come to me and just counter off of him instead of uh, going forward and uh, this brawling with the guy. And I wanted it to get swinging like he did and then take him down. That was the plan from the very beginning is uh, get him to really load up on some of his punches and when he loaded up, take a shot. Yeah, you, you just seemed to be really on point overall tonight in all areas. What would you attribute that to? Um, it's been a great camp. You know, um, went back and uh, just reevaluated myself. Um, I came in a little bit lighter than I usually am. I felt like uh, I, I made some adjustments in my... Uh, my fitness and my strength and conditioning, you know, I've been working with the coach for a while now. I felt like we were all on the same page. So, um, and this is the timing thing has really been, it's really been there for me this camp. I felt like my wrestling timing and my striking time has been really on point this camp. And your teammate, Touchy Feely, is up next, I believe. Uh, do you like fighting on the same card with teammates? Yeah, it's like a big party, you know. Um, you get a bunch of Team Alpha Male guys and a bunch of our friends that get, come here, and we hang out, and we train together, and we feed off each other's energy, and it, it's a lot more fun when you have somebody with, more people with you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Darren. You look like you were having fun. And um, when they announced the decision, you really went into, like, I did it mode. How was that, man? What was the vibe? You looked like you just had a good time. Yeah, I did have a great time. Um, I was having fun this whole fight, you know. Um, I'm having, I was having fun this whole, uh, this whole fight week. I think part of it was to sit back and have fun again, you know. Um, I'm at the later part of my career, and I want to remember these last few fights, and I, rem I want to have fun. Not, you know, I, I've had so many fights, and sometimes like, man, I just... Went from one to another to another, and I never really sat and go, man, I'm going to enjoy this moment. I was worried about the next fight. So I'm trying to really cherish the moment, and I want to remember these moments, and I want to have fun, and I think when I'm having fun is when I'm fighting at my best, too. That's excellent. And let me circle back to a point you made earlier when you said you wanted to finish your career with the UFC in the octagon. Is that part of it? To, regardless of whether you have four left or 40, you want to, you know, like enjoy it, soak it in, right? Yes, yes, I want to enjoy it. 
I want to soak it in. I want to remember it. You know, um, I got two kids. I got a daughter who's 15 and a son who's going to be 12 in, in, uh, on Monday. So um, now these are the fights I'm going to remember, the, the ones at the end of my career, you know. So I want them to remember, hey, man, my dad loved his job. He was an awesome fighter, and he was a good guy. Have the kids been out to an event to come see dad fight? Um, they used to always come, um, and then the whole COVID thing happened, and they haven't been coming. But, but right before the COVID, they came to every one of my fights, I and mean, they always like to come to my fights. And my wife, she barely ever missed any fights, and she's really missing it. You know, I talked to her the, the whole week, and she's like, man, I just miss being out there at fight week. And I miss having them out here, too. It's, it's cool to have them out here. That's excellent, man. And last for me, when we talked to you earlier in the week, before you walked through that door, you said there will be blood, and you were a man of your word. I, I'm telling you, if you just look at me, I'm bleeding sometimes. Look at me wrong, I'm bleeding. It's just, uh, this time I didn't have to have any stitches, though. I think he might have to have stitches, but I didn't have to have any stitches. There's only a few fights I can tell you that uh, I've had in the octagon that I haven't had any stitches. All right, I'm a man. Congrats on the win. Thank you. I appreciate it. Actually, I was going to bring that up. I was going to say, did you have any moment in that fight where you realized that he was the bloodier of the two? Did you kind of just think to yourself, like, hey, this is a nice change? Um, I knew he was bleeding pretty good, and I, like, we stood up one time, and I, I remember he, he was bleeding everywhere, and I was going, oh, that's how I usually look, I guess, because I, I, I knew I was bleeding a little bit, but I wasn't bad, so, like, I looked into his eyes, and I'm like, I felt your pain. I've done that a few times myself. Oh, when you see that, though, I mean, how good at that point, do you sort of mentally assess how good you maybe feel? Because if you were in the opposite side of that coin, if you were carrying more of that damage, can you feel how much better you felt in that moment, not knowing that you were not carrying the damage that you maybe would normally at that point in the fight? Yeah, um, and I think, you know, I, I do damage a little bit easier than most, but I think sometimes it's the judging. You see somebody with the, the damage and I could be winning that whole fight, but my face is all bloody, my, ha my eyes half shut, then uh, sometimes I still give them that round. So um, I felt like that was a big thing too. It's like, all right, I'm doing a lot of damage, I'm landing the harder strikes, and I'm getting no takedown. So I, I felt like that just uh, nullified the victories for me. And I know you, you, you brought up, you know, as you're getting later in your career, you know, some of the fights towards the end, but how good does it feel to know that you could still get in there with these younger cats and still do all the things that you do. You were so controlling when you were able to work him and get him on the ground, control his body. That's gotta be a, quite a confidence boost for you as well to know that you're still performing at such a high level and still able to do those sort of things. Yeah, I'll be uh, 38 in a couple weeks here, May 16th. So um, I feel like I'm still, I'm, I'm still able to compete with these guys. You know, I, the big thing for me is when I'm in practice, I'm competing with those young guys at Team Alpha Male, these hungry young guys, and we got some top talent in there, and I'm, you know, I'm doing fine in those rounds. So I'm like, man, I'm, I'm still, I still got it, and I know I still got it. So coming to this fight, I'm not surprised me being able to do what I do during the, the fights at my age, and that's because I do it in training all the time. I'm beating up on the young guys in training all the time, and I, I feel better than ever. You know, I still feel like. There's still some, still some fighting as the old dog, so hopefully we can have some fun fights and maybe do another. My, my goal is make it to 40, so that gives me about two years. Make it to 40 and call it quits. So with that, so perfect, perfect case scenario. Well, first, uh, I guess, is this the first time you've ever made it to the end of your, your contract without having another contract in place? No, they've been doing that for a couple of years now. Um, since, uh, since they took over, uh, they, they, uh, they've been doing this every time. It used to be with the Fatita brothers, they'd always re-sign you on your last ones, but now they always let you fight it out and then they re-sign you afterwards. So it's nothing new. I'm, I'm sure I got a good relationship with the UFC. I'm sure that we'll be, they'll be calling and we'll get a new contract. Because I know that was the same thing that, you know, we mentioned Feely. Feely was very frustrated. You know, he went like some eight months or so and he was like, yeah. you know, when am I going to get something? At what point do, I guess, at what point will you be nervous if you don't hear something because I know you want like you said you want to stay UFC but you also still got fight left in you at what point do you get nervous and maybe start thinking maybe I do need to look elsewhere I mean yeah. what's the typical time frame afterwards that they usually get back to you and and, and offer you something um me and Sean we've always seen eye to eye I've never had a problem with Sean I mean I've had to sit out a little bit but that's just any fighter will tell you longer than they want to um I'm positive in a couple of weeks I'll reach out to him and he'll kind of tell me where we negotiated. We always does, you know. I'm, 
I've never had any problem get back, him getting back to me and working it out. So if I would have lost this fight, yeah, maybe, maybe he doesn't get back to me. But after a win like this, and I went three and uh, one on this contract, I'm sure he's going to resign me. I mean, he knows. If this is Darren Elkins, he knows I'm going to make weight. I'm not going to show up to fight. So there's still some fight left in me. So I'm sure he's going to want to see it. And if, you're, and if you're trying to get two years, I mean, it probably makes sense if you get another four-fight contract. That's, that's what I'm shooting for. Number. Four, four sounds like good. You know, I don't like fighting any more than two times in a year anymore. In my career, these long camps, it's too hard on my body. I, I like two fights a year. So you give me four fights, then, yeah, that, that should be perfect. Awesome. Best of luck, man. It's always fun watching you get in there and, and do it. And it's glad to see you uh, not wearing too much when you come back here to see us. You gotta, you're wearing a smile on your yes. face instead of a bunch of damage. I appreciate that. You bet. Good.